Shotokan Karate Special Training is a two and a half day weekend event designed to teach the karate student to work hard and to have a strong will to succeed. From start to finish, special training consists of strenuous exercises designed to test you both physically and spiritually. This special training is run by Kazumi Tabata, master instructor of the North American Karate Federation. Friday night, we started out with a five-hour workout without a break. By the end of the second hour, everybody was exhausted. Then we just concentrated on keeping going. You try to do as much as you can. After a while, it feels like it's impossible to continue, but you have to put the word impossible out of your head. This is our first workout Friday night. We've been doing basics for three and a half hours. For the next hour and a half, we stand in a front stance. 45 minutes on each leg. Also, Sensei Tabata comes around to each person in the room and holds them in a low stance for one minute. Even though you're tired and in a lot of pain, the emotional support from the other participants helps you keep going. People clap and shout encouragement. You try to help each through it. Even though Sensei Tabata is the person putting you through this, you really have to respect him he holds such respect for his art that it's infectious. He inspires you to do your best. We did duck walks on Saturday morning during our third workout of the special training. Duck walks are really an elementary exercise, something you might see children do. But because we had to do it for 25 minutes straight, it really hurt, especially after having three hard workouts. Your legs cramp up, but you've got to persevere. What kept my mind off the pain was the thought of the Gatorade I had stored in the cooler. If you give in to the pain, it only gets worse. Later in the day, three senior black belts came to help Sensei Tabata with the kata. Here, one of them is helping me with a kata called Hian Sandan. At special training, we do each of the Heian kata 50 times. A kata is a series of blocks and attacks combined in a predetermined form. Each kata simulates an actual fighting experience so it's important to do each as quickly and powerfully as possible. At some point in the special training, usually Saturday night, we do back stances the same way we did front stances, 45 minutes on each leg, and a low stance for one minute. Even though you're very tired by this point, you've got to stay strong. You've got to use your spirit to keep yourself going. This is my second special training. I was a little nervous before this one because I knew what I was going to go through this time. But once I was with everybody, it was easier. The first special training you go to, you don't know what you're getting into. But the second one can be harder because you know what you're getting into. All sorts of people come to special training. There was a 10-year-old boy and a girl with only one hand. Special training's important that way. It shows you that you can overcome your limitations. Also, you try to help other people. You have to keep everybody's spirit up. The emphasis here is very spiritual. You've got to rise above the pain and also help others to rise above it. We're all in this together. <laughs> On Sunday, we worked out for eight hours with only a half hour break, and we took full advantage of that break. Sunday's the best day because you know that you're going home that night. On Sunday, you feel the spirit among the people. When you get to bunny hops, you have to remember that you don't do them alone. Everybody wants to help each other out. If one person is lagging behind, it's not unusual to see other people bunny hopping out to help him keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. By the time you get to the sit-ups, you know you're almost done. 
You're in the second half of the Sunday workout, and you really want to push through to the end. By this point, I had become numb. The pain almost didn't bother me anymore. After going through special training, you feel like you can handle anything. It's so hard that anything else is easier by comparison. By the time you get to push-ups, you're so close to the finish that you can taste it. You've just got to push through to the end. Shoulder kicks are difficult not only because you have the weight of the person on you, but also you have to balance that person and stand in one place. Suddenly it was over. I felt great. We all ran for food and something to drink and a shower. Later, when Sensei Tabata handed out special training certificates, it felt like my high school graduation. We'd all come to push ourselves to the limit, and we became better people in the process.